Former President Donald Trump, the current frontrunner for the Republican Party's presidential nomination in 2024, called for the Constitution to be terminated after expressing support for the January 6th insurrectionists. And now the Republican Party has finally come out in full force to condemn Trump and oust him from the party and... Oh, sorry, what's that? They haven't condemned him? <laughs> Why not? Oh, for all the usual reasons? Well, that's fun. <laughs> for more of this, it's time for a closer look. <laughs> well, we've been off since Thanksgiving and a lot has happened, but by far, the most important thing that has happened is that Wally Sponge is back, baby. <laughs> that's right. Thanks to a winter uptick in COVID cases, our crew is once again masked, which means Wally needs to reattach his face sponge, which serves the purpose of keeping his fingers moist between cue cards, a job his tongue can no longer do because his tongue is behind a mask. Now, I actually learned this exciting sponge news thanks to a tweet from an eagle-eyed viewer who saw the face sponge attached during last Saturday's SNL, a show Wally also works for. That eagle-eyed viewer, you may ask? Wally. <laughs> So just to be clear, Wally <laughs> tweeted a video of himself <laughs> to me and Sal in the hopes that we would put him in a closer look. And the worst part is, it <laughs> worked. <laughs> but it didn't work all the way. No, it didn't work all the way. Because Wally only gets paid extra if he has a line, and we ain't giving him a line today, baby. Actually, Seth, Seth. What, what, what? Nothing. Actually, Seth is just enough to get me paid. <laughs> You're my Grinch. <laughs> Believe it or not, there is other news. For example, my pillow CEO, Mike Lindell, or as I call him, America's Wally, <laughs> announced that he is running for chair of the Republican National Committee, which, if he wins, would put him in charge of the GOP. My pillow CEO, Mike Lindell, says he plans to run to be the chairman of the Republican National Committee. Lindell said he was, quote, 100% running during an interview with Trump ally Steve Bannon. The post is currently held by Rona McDaniel. I am 100% running for the RNC chairman against Rona McDaniel. 100%. I'm all in, Steve. And uh, one of the things that uh, one of the big donors said to me, he said, Mike, he said, everybody wants you to be head of the RNC. Some of them just don't know it yet. I mean, I'd say he dreamt that conversation, but that meant he fell asleep, which one, he seems incapable of, and two, is impossible using a my pillow. The only <laughs> way Lindell ever got a solid eight hours is if he used a their pillow. <laughs> when he says one of the big donors, is he referring to a Republican donor or an organ donor? I got a third lung installed so I could scream even louder without taking a breath, and the big lung donor told me I should be in charge of the RNC right before they put him under. I think they gave him too much morphine, though, because he never woke up. <laughs> now, if he does indeed run, Lindell would obviously focus on his deranged election conspiracy theories. For example, he's still going around claiming the midterms were stolen from Republicans. These machines, when they knew that they were gonna vote same day, we said right here on Frank's speech, everybody vote same day, because it's harder for them to cheat. To, we can overrun the algorithms. Well, when you two those machines down in down in Arizona, you say, put put the ballot in the box, put the ballot in the box. Those ballots have got mixed in with other ballots too, by the way. They basically became mail-in ballots, everybody. And you know what we do with mail-in ballots? Pull names from the voter. Joe Schmo, Johnny Bananas, Sue Smith, whatever. All right. <laughs> We've had a good time with Mike Lindell over the years, but at some point, it stops being funny. So let me say with all seriousness, you leave Johnny Bananas out of this. <laughs> you think he's had it easy? Going through life with the name Johnny Bananas? You think that's a fun trip to the DMV? A good icebreaker for a job interview? <laughs> you know how many times his friends have set Johnny Bananas up on blind dates only for him to show up to the restaurant and see not a human woman at his table, but a monkey? <laughs> and lipstick and address a monkey who his friends have taught to wave so everyone at the restaurant is looking when the hostess says, right this way, Mr. Bananas. <laughs> Sue Smith, on the other hand, she right off. That's not a real name. 
Also, what is Lindell miming here? You know what we do with mail-in ballots? It looks like he's milking a giant cow. Either that or he's climbing a tree like... Johnny Bananas. It's obviously very unlikely that Lindell wins, but his bid for RNC chair comes at a time when Republicans are figuring out what to do with the MyPillow wing of the Republican Party, a wing that includes their standard bearer and current presidential frontrunner Donald Trump, almost as if he was trying to outdo Lindell. Trump took to his social media site Truth Social over the weekend and called for the Constitution to be torn up so that he could immediately be reinstated as president. Former President Donald Trump wrote on his social media platform this weekend, he says, quote, do you throw the presidential election results of 2020 out and declare the rightful winner, or do you have a new election? A massive fraud of this type and magnitude allows for the termination of all rules, regulations, and articles, even those found in the Constitution, unquote. First of all, I like that he started with a question, do you throw the results out, or do you have a new election? Like, those are the only two choices. He's like a five-year-old who tells his parents, okay, guys, should we have ice cream for dinner, or should we have cake? I... I see arguments on both sides. But I also appreciate he left no room for ambiguity by using the word termination. I mean, that's pretty explicit. Republicans can't say he misspoke, although I'm sure the Ted Cruz of the world will try. The woke mom wants to destroy Donald Trump just because his autocorrect change tolerate the Constitution to terminate the Constitution. <laughs> also, I like when Trump tries to use what he thinks sounds like sophisticated legal language and instead just sounds like an insane person. He thinks if he uses big words like termination of all rules, regulations, and articles, everyone will think what he's suggesting is legal. He sounds like a college sophomore in a Starbucks writing a screenplay for a sci-fi movie. Exterior, <laughs> space. It's the year 3000, nuclear war with an army of sentient voting machines has resulted in the termination of all rules, regulations, and articles. The galaxy's only hope for survival rests with a heroic astronaut, Captain... Johnny Bananas. It's two. It's two Johnny Bananas callbacks. If I were you, I wouldn't wait around for a third. Can't be done. Trump's screed calling for the termination of the Constitution came after Twitter. After Twitter CEO Elon Musk released a big dud he called the Twitter files, which was supposed to be some kind of Hunter Biden smoking gun, but in reality it was just a bunch of internal Twitter emails about content moderation. Trump's cries to terminate the Constitution came after Elon Musk promoted a new release of the Twitter files, internal emails showing how the Trump White House and the Biden campaign requested and received removals from certain content on social media. The former journalist who compiled those notes for Musk claimed one executive would write to another more to review from the Biden team. The reply would come back handled. But reviews of Internet Archive show those links were explicit pornographic images stolen from Hunter Biden's laptop hard drive, not requests from the Biden campaign to suppress the New York Post story itself. Yes, Trump wants the Constitution terminated because Joe Biden's campaign, which was not the government in 2020, asked Twitter to take down pics of Hunter Biden's dong. I'm sorry, but I don't think there's a provision for that in the Constitution. I don't remember Alexander Hamilton ever writing in the Federalist Papers that the Constitution should be the law of the land unless John Adams' son posts a lithograph fly of his genitals in Faneuil Hall. <laughs> Interesting historical fact. John Adams' son, John Quincy Adams, was also president, but later in life, they had a falling out so, John Quincy Adams had his name legally changed to... Johnny Bananas. There we go. And I am certain that's the end of that. <laughs> These guys are desperate to find secret evidence of a hidden conspiracy on the laptop of the president's son. Meanwhile, Trump's out there admitting he stole classified documents from the White House, and they're all like, so what? We all steal stuff from work. What is it about the words Hunter Biden's laptop that drives right-wingers absolutely insane? It's all they can think about. It's like that torture device they make Bix wear in Andor. They just hear those three words and they lose their minds. Also, side note, Andor rules. <laughs> Flat out rules. And I'm not one of those people who loves everything about Star Wars. I'm an adult. Okay, at some point you get too old for movies where everyone has a crazy name, like Kylo Ren or Poe Dameron or... Johnny Bananas. Although, I do get chills. I do get chills every time I remember that famous line, help me. Johnny Bananas. You're my only hope. Anyway. <laughs> the point is, the rule of five is an effective comedy device, and also, even after 
the GOP was repudiated in the midterms, they're still leaning even further in the direction of MAGA extremism. For example, right before he called for the termination of the Constitution, Trump also recorded a video message in support, in support of the January 6th insurrectionists, even after the leader of the Oath Keepers, Stuart Rhodes, was convicted of seditious conspiracy. Patriot freedom is what it's about, and that's not happening in our country. What they've done to torment people and go after people like never before. I don't think anything like this has ever happened in our country before, certainly not to this extent. So it's a very unfair situation. And we're going to be, as you know, looking about it and talking about it very, very strongly in the coming weeks, months, and over the next period of a year, year and a half during the campaign. People have been treated unconstitutionally, in my opinion, and very, very unfairly. And we're going to get to the bottom of it. Content aside, why is he standing so far away? <laughs> is he recording this on a Mar-a-Lago security camera? Is he shrinking? I don't know. But that is exactly the kind of rumor Donald Trump would spread about that video of Donald Trump. Have you seen that video of Donald Trump? They're saying he's shrinking. He's tiny now. They're calling him Tiny Trump. <laughs> Many people are saying it's so sad. He's three feet, two feet, perhaps even one foot tall. <laughs> he reminds me a lot of Hermie the Elf, great elf, tough elf. <laughs> I met him once. He came up to me, tears pouring down his face and then freezing to the side of his cheek. And he said to me, sir, I just want to be a dentist. <laughs> Also, I've noticed that Trump has a new move with his hands. They're like, instead of doing them up here, he started doing them like down here. I guess that's why they had to move the camera back. He said, I do my hands down here now. And they said, all right, but they're gonna be out of frame. And he was like, well, then you gotta back the camera up. The hands are up, people know I'm not crazy. With the hands, with the hands, I look smart. Without them, I look like I'm Sue Smith. Oh. Didn't see that one coming, did you? <laughs> when you think I'm gonna zig, I zag. That's why they call me. Johnny Bananas. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, even after all that, Republicans still can't seem to bring themselves to oust Trump from their party. Yesterday, George Stephanopoulos asked GOP Congressman Dave Joyce about Trump's call to terminate the Constitution, and Joyce still said he would support Trump for president in 2024. Can you support a candidate in 2024 who's for suspending the Constitution? Well, again, it, it's early. I think there's going to be a lot of people in the primary. I think at the end of the day, uh, you will say, uh, whoever the Republicans end up pick, I'll fall in behind because that's... Even if it's Donald Trump and he's called for suspending the Constitution? Well, again, I think it's going to be a big field. I don't think Donald Trump's going to clear out the field like he did in the 60s. That's not what I'm asking. I'm asking you, if he's the nominee, will you support him? Uh, I will support whoever the Republican nominee is. That's a remarkable statement. You just, you'd support a candidate who's come out for suspending the Constitution? Well, you know, he, he says a lot of things. But that's an extraordinary statement. You can't come out against someone who's for suspending the Constitution? Well, first off, he has no ability to suspend the Constitution. Secondly, But he says he's for it. Well, you know, he says a lot of things. That, uh, but that doesn't mean that it's ever going to happen. Well, that's reassuring. <laughs> Trump wants to terminate the Constitution, but he can't, so don't worry about it. It's kind of like how in every Bond movie, M explains the villain's plans to blow up the UN, and Bond says, I'm sorry, you mean this Austrian dork? I doubt he's blowing up anything, unless it's in a game of Minecraft. <laughs> you think calling for the termination of the Constitution would finally be the last straw, but there will never be a last straw for Republicans, no matter how many times voters repudiate Trump's extremism. Republicans can't seem to pry themselves away. They're just hoping someone else runs against him. So instead of getting asked if he's the nominee, will you support Donald Trump, they'll get asked. If he's the nominee, will you support Johnny Bananas. I don't know. I don't know, Sal. At some point, you just can't call it back that many times. <laughs> just like you got, it's moderation, Sal. This has been a closer look.